Gonna look at me? Open your mouth. Stung your tongue out. Stung your tongue out, sir. What? Sir. Hey, uh, you listen to me? Okay, look at me. I just need to make sure you don't have nothing in your mouth, sir. That's it. Good. Gallup, New Mexico police were patrolling when they noticed a motorcycle in the middle of the street with the rider trying to stand it up. When the officer made contact with the rider, she noticed it was someone from her own police department and started the call with a sigh. Camera recording started. A lot of people that care about you, Neil. Oh, fuck you. You don't care. Your mom cares. My mom don't care either. What about Natalie? Natalie don't care. You don't care. Don't, don't fucking play that. Ambulance is here. Three one Metro fifty five ninety seven. Yeah, I was coming up right here and here he fell off his bike right here. Are you gonna talk to us? Are you okay? Are you hurting anywhere? Huh? Let me go. I wear the ambulance. Yeah, I know you do. Do you want us to take care of you? Okay. Are you hurting anywhere? No. No? Do you want medical attention? No. All right. He just laid it down? He actually fell off and then he yeah. tried to pick it back up. I didn't fell off. Okay. Alright, he doesn't want us to touch him, we don't touch him. Okay. He doesn't want to... He refused medical. Okay. I, I had to call Metro from here. I'm trying to go back to the Sarge said, see if NMSP can come out. If not, just for me to have it. He refused medical though. Do me a favor. I have stop sticks in my unit in the back seat. Can you move them to the backpack while I stand here with them? Just to move this to be recording. Hey, uh, Gallup's popping tonight. I guess they have an off duty sergeant for GPD. They pulled him over and possible 47 on a motorcycle. And they wanted one of our units to go out and do the FSTs. Okay, Gallup. Picked up who? One of their guys? Picked up one of their guys? Yeah, they picked up one of their off duty sergeants. Then that's on. They told you were coming out. Okay, so you guys didn't perform any fields? No. no I fields. asked him originally, are you willing to do fields? He's like, no. Okay. And then that's when he just stood up and was like, just take me in. But I just never put cuffs on him. We just had him sit on the curb here. Then he asked us, can I sit on the wall? I said, yeah, go for it. Go sit on the wall. You know, we never put cuffs on him, never told him anything. We do have a body camera rolling the whole time, so... Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to need your video and, uh, of course, uh, supplemental. Okay, that'll work. Um, I'll, have to get, I'll get your phone number or something. We'll get with you a little bit later. Forget sure. how you want us to do the supplemental. Um, okay. I do have one of my lieutenants coming out just because we don't have no brass brass tonight. I'm just the OIC tonight, so... But it's all yours. We're, we'll stand by with you. We asked him multiple times about the bike. He said, I don't have no one... No one cares about me. Um, actually, here's his ID, okay. driver's license. 
and then he gave me these. I keep dropping that damn thing too. He gave me these. So those belong to him. Okay. He took his ring off, said nobody cares about me here. Take these. Okay. So other than that, we haven't ran through fields so, though. We didn't want to move the bike. The bike's exactly the way it was. I didn't touch it. We didn't move it. Nothing. It's right where it fell. Okay. Can you hold these for me? For yes, sir. Of course. Uh, Six fifty is in go. Six fifty go ahead. Twenty-eight out in New Mexico. Sam zero nine four eight one should come back to a black motorcycle. New Mexico. Six fifty. I'll so I have a twenty nine whenever you for the copy. Hey, firm, go ahead. Six eight three, New Mexico. Hello, no first of all, New Mexico State Police. You've been consuming any alcohol, sir? Excuse me? Yeah. Yes? How much? About two beers. Two beers? Mm. What What type of beer, sir? La Cumbre. Excuse me? La Cumbre. La Cumbre? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where do you drink those at? Uh, the... um... Keep your hands out of the pocket for me. Forty Niners. Forty Niners? Mm hmm Okay, how long ago? Um, forty minutes ago. Forty away. Forty-five minutes ago. Forty-five minutes ago? Mm -hmm. Just two beers? Because I can smell a strong odor of alcohol I mean from your breath. Just two? Okay. So I'm gonna submit to a uh, standardized fuel sobriety test, okay? I'm already drunk, bro. You already drunk? Yeah. Okay. I still have to do fuels, alright? Are you good with that? Yeah. Okay. Come over here with me. Yeah. Let's use the line over there. Just watch your step right there. Yeah. I refuse. Excuse me? I refuse. You're refusing? Yeah. Okay. So you don't want to perform fields? Yeah. You okay? No. Okay, so go ahead and turn around. Yeah. Okay, come with me. Come on, phone on my left phone. Yeah, I still got. I still gonna. I'm gonna play you down. I just want to put you down in front of my camera. Okay, stand right here. Spray your feet apart. Let me move to the right. Huh? Let me move to the right so you can get it. You're fine. Just don't move. You're fine. Don't move. I don't need you to move, all right? Yeah. You gonna look at me? Open your mouth. Sung your tongue out. Stung your tongue out, sir. What? Sir. Hey, uh, I got you listen to me? Okay, look at me. Uh, I just need to make sure you don't have nothing in your mouth, sir. That's it. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Stop.
up. Hang on. Contact number 2839. Insurance. DOD number. Go ahead and take a seat. You have all that? Need to pull van. Huh? Pull down my hat. Pull down my hat. Also. Just keep it for now. Yeah. Just pull down my hat. What's that? I fucked up. How come? Uh, right. I'm gonna ask Dave to see the unit over there. Careful, I'm gonna do the wrong. I'm fucking hurting from doing my, my, my deal. I fucked up. Okay, listen to me, I'm about to tell you something important, okay? Yeah. You are under arrest for DWI. Yeah. The New Mexico Plan Consent Acts require you to submit to a blood test. Pull on my glasses. Pull up. After you take your test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. I don't want to do it. If you choose to take an additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your interest to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid by the law enforcement agency. Can you put Did you agree to take your test, sir? Yes. Can you okay. What's that? Can you put them in front of me? No, sir, I cannot do that. Okay. Go ahead and lean back, look left. Yeah. Lean back. Lean back, sir. I'm leaning back. No, you're leaning forward. Lean back. I can't lean back because it's fucking hurting my wrist. Just fucking do it. I need it, to put man. the seat the seat belt. Just fucking do it. Who fucking cares? You are going to... You're just going down the road. Who cares? I'm not gonna do anything to you. Trust me. Six fifty is income. You guys haven't called any 46, right? No. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna have 115 for 47. Can you set my deprivation time? 10 for at 140. 650. Also, can you send me a 46 for the motorcycle, please? 10 for direct summit. Dispenser with the GPD. Officially service. So how long is the since you stopped him? How long has it been? Um 20 semester. What time did we call out here at Fort Anastic? I'll get you the exact time right now. Time to Appreciate you coming out there, brother. No problem. You. Did you want his stuff back? Yeah. Double zero fifty four is when we called it out. Okay, so it's been close to an hour. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me get the tow sheet. If you guys can stand by for the tow truck, if you don't mind. Yeah. Did you do fields or no? It refused. It refused. Okay. Yes. Official service. So, how long is the since you stopped him? How long has it been? Um, 20 some metro. What time did we call out here at Fort Anastic? I'll get you the exact time right now. Don't worry. Appreciate you coming out there, brother. No Thank problem. You. Did you want his stuff back? Yeah. Double zero fifty four. Double zero fifty four is when we called it out. Okay, so it's been close to an hour. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me get the tow sheet. If you guys can stand by for the tow truck, if you don't mind. Yeah. Did you do fields or no? It refused. It refused. Okay. Yes. Right. Yeah. 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 Where are your kids, sir? Sir? Yeah. Where are your kids? The kids for a motorcycle? I don't know. You don't know? All right. Let me uh, get back with Captain. You want right. to come out here and take, take everything out and make sure everything is he was staggering. She yeah. had to catch him like more than once because he almost fell over. On. I didn't even know it was him. I just oh. saw, I drove in. Well, we're looking for a 203 or 204. And I drove around the back and I saw Sharon Tolino and I drove in right here and I saw this bike. The guy gets on and then the light flashed on my eye and I just looked at it in the river mirror and it was going like this so I drove it I seen it drive out and then I turned around and then I followed it and then it turned on to Navajo real quick and then I kind of sped up and then I turned up and then it came down on hill so by the time I got to Navajo on hill he already I saw the light right here so I turned yeah he turned and then I came up and then I turned right here then I saw him stop and then he just like it stopped and he actually just like went off and then he fell off and then he got back up went around and he was trying to pick it up well, he off, huh? so he didn't actually like crash crash but he fell off the bike because okay. he stopped it all right so it probably won't be a question but you just leave it down yeah just leave it. well then I asked him I said are you okay then that's when I was like oh shit yeah just verify so. it with him too and then that's when I asked him if he needed an ambulance. Ask him if he wants us to take the crash or if yeah. he's going to take the crash. If he is. Okay. Yeah or no? There, I didn't see no no damage in the vehicle besides, besides the motorcycle. She said he besides. stopped, like she seen him drive, it stops, and then he dropped it. On, you know, he fell off and the bike dropped. So, but it was stopped when it happened. He never skid or anything like that because no. I didn't see no marks. No. No, he stopped just at the intersection and then boom. So. No, no, crash no, no crash report. He, my LT was just asking me if you wanted us to do it or if you were going to do one or if one was needed. So that's why. No, because uh, I look at the bike and there's no damage on the right side. Yeah, and there's everything, no everything was no on, on the, uh, what do you call it, the guards. Okay, cool. So. But yeah, we'll wait for the tow truck for you. We'll just take okay. your tow sheet from you and give it to them whenever they get here. And cool. If you have to take off, that's fine. Yeah, that way it's between the three hours. So. Yeah, that'll work. My lieutenant will be here with us for a while too, so. <laughs> okay. Thanks, man. Appreciate no it. problem, dude. So I, I got a hold of my captain. Um, he's supposed to have come in tonight, but he said that he was watching his little girl, so we just want to make sure that his daughter is not by herself somewhere, you know what I mean? Okay. So we, we, we want to make sure that his, his kids are safe. Okay, know. how old are they? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, um, I'll ask him and see if he wants to talk to me. Okay. Uh, the 46 is gonna take 45 minutes. Okay, uh, who's coming out? A classy. A classy. It's usually what they give us 20, 30 minutes. Usually what we get anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'll ask him. Let's okay. See, just to make sure. Yeah, so thing he's, not, is, he's not married. Uh, is he married? He's in. Is, did he get married yet, or is he engaged? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. He might be okay. married. He might have got married. Okay. And then uh, ask him, uh, Lieutenant Spencer, if he'd like to talk to me. I, I, I want to get with him about his duty belt, his, his gun and all that. So he's going to pick okay. that up from his home. 
Yeah. You think? Okay. Right now, you can. Right, sir. I'm gonna read you rights, okay? You have the right to remain in silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court law. You have the right to talk to an attorney and to have him present during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will provide you as a government expense before any questions, if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. If you decide to answer any questions or make, you might stop answering questions at any time to consult with an attorney. You understand what I just told you, sir? No? Okay, just keep these rights in mind, okay? You want to talk to me? All right. Do you have kids? Huh? Sir? No? Sir, do you have kids? Read the fifth. Huh? I just want to make sure they're okay. Read the fifth. Huh? Read the fifth. He didn't want to talk to me, so okay. I asked him about the kids, and he didn't want to talk to me. So All right. there's nothing I can do. Okay. This is it tool sheet? Sorry, uh, one up. for yes, uh, just signature. Signature there, and that's it. Yes, sir. Cool. One for me, and one for the tow company. Okay. Um, I'll get it back can I get you. your phone number from you so I can call sure. you later? Just so I can give you this back. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, um, whenever I'm done, I'll shoot you a text or something, and then whenever you get done, I'm on until 8 in the morning. I okay. can meet you and give you your paperwork whenever. Okay. Sounds cool. good. Appreciate Thank it. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, sir, so stand up. Come with me. The closer. It's a brand new one, okay? Let him cover the mouthpiece over. You refusing now? Okay, I'm gonna read it to you again. Turn around. Face me. Face me, sir. You're not gonna blow into it if you don't want to. Just face me. Listen to me. I'm about to tell you something important. I'm listening to you. Okay, you're under arrest for DWI. The New Mexico Compliant Consent Act requires you to submit a breath test to determine the alcohol contained in your blood. After you take your test, you have the right to, to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take an additional test, an independent test, you have the right to, in a, to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid by a law enforcement agency. Do you agree to be tested, sir? Mm -hmm. Did you agree to be tested? No. Okay. I cannot I force you to you. take your test, but if you refuse, you. You, lose, you will lose your New Mexico driver license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court of, of driving 
while under the influence, you might also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand? I don't understand you. Your right to speak with an attorney or remain in silence does not apply to the requirement of New Mexico law that you take a breath test. Did you agree to be tested? I don't understand you. What do you mean? I don't understand you. So I'm going to consider your actions as a refusal, and you tell me you're refusing too, okay? Are you refusing, sir? Because this is your last opportunity. Sir? Sir? Are you refusing, sir? Go ahead and take a seat. Take a seat right there. Neil Yazi refused to do the breathalyzer test, and it is unclear if he is still employed with the Gallup Police Department. His trial is slated for later this year.